The Big 12 Conference is not adding UConn, at least not for now. I'm Pete Mundo. We're Heartland College Sports. We cover the Big 12. And if you are not yet subscribed, well, hit that subscribe button right below the video. Hit the thumbs up as well. We appreciate you doing that because I know many of you are not yet, and we cover everything Big 12, college football, college hoops, and across the board. So the Big 12 announced through Brett Yormark on Thursday that they are pausing expansion talks with UConn. And as much as I'm open to adding UConn, and I get why your mark wants to add UConn, this makes perfect sense to me. The Big 12 is in a position where it does not need to do this right now. And I'm not sitting here saying there's not value in the Big 12 potentially adding UConn. UConn owns the New York City media market from a college perspective as much as any college team does when it comes to that basketball program. As someone who used to work in New York City media for five years, I can tell you, Madison Square Garden, UConn, Big East Tournament is buzzing. And your Mark knows that. He's a New York City guy. But if all your athletic directors and all your presidents are not on board, then why rush this thing? Pump the brakes. The timing is on your side. There's no need to rush. I've heard some speculation that the Big 12 needs to do this because, well, the ACC may ultimately jump on UConn, and we can't lose UConn to the ACC. You really think the ACC is in a position right now to expand? And by the way, if Florida State and Clemson leave, why would UConn go to the ACC? If the ACC is on the verge of collapsing, explain to me why it would make any sense for UConn to say, I'm joining that conference. To play Duke or North Carolina, maybe once a year in college basketball. At that point, if the ACC were to collapse, the Big 12 would be primed to potentially add UConn and add anybody else in the ACC that they wanted. Once again, if that day did come where Florida State and Clemson got their way out with their lawsuits. So, no matter what, the Big 12 is going to have the upper hand here, whether it's right now. Or if it's in six months or six years, the Big 12's got its TV deal through 2031. That's when they were really talking about adding UConn from a football perspective anyway. The basketball element would have played in the next couple of years. The football element was down the road anyway. So if you're not sold yet on UConn doing what it needs to do football-wise to get his program up to snuff, which is a fair critique to have, I will add, then just wait. There is zero reason to rush this thing. And I had heard that there were several Big 12 ADs and Big 12 presidents who needed more selling on the idea of UConn. We know your mark loves it. We know Endeavor, the Big 12's consultants, like it a lot too. But if you don't have total buy-in, why ruffle the feathers right now? The Big 12 has a lot of camaraderie for the first time in maybe conference history. You've got everybody who's on the same page for once. Why rock that boat when you don't need to right now? That's how I look at this thing if I'm Brett Yormark. And as I read between the lines on Yormark's statement, that's kind of the conclusion I come to when he says, it's my responsibility to explore a variety of value-creating opportunities on behalf of the Big 12. He says, we've jointly decided to pause our conversations with UConn at this time. We'll instead focus our attention and resources to ushering in this new era of college athletics. Okay. That's a guy who's looking at this saying the timing just doesn't make sense right now. It's not perfect. And it's not. And UConn will be there. Where is UConn going to go? Big 10 ACC or Big 10 SEC? Not a chance. ACC, okay. But it's not like everyone in the ACC is going to magically be singing Kumbaya coming up in a few months. Florida State and Clemson won out. And now they're getting mocked, by the way, because their football teams are 0-3 to start the season. So there is no love lost there. The minute those two can get out, they're going to get out. And by the way, maybe they come to the Big 12. I'm just saying, maybe that's part of their conversation, part of their plans. Who knows? I'm just, it's all speculation right now. But the news today that the Big 12 and UConn have mutually agreed to stop talking about expansion is something I'm fine with as much as I understand why Your mark wants to make this happen sooner rather than later. And UConn did put out a statement about this, by the way, from their AD, David Benedict. And uh, it was kind of a rah-rah deal to his fan base 
He said here, Dear UConn Nation, as you know, it's been an exciting and turbulent time in college athletics the last few years. Conference realignment has blurred the nation's um, panorama. Many of you have followed the media reports about the Big 12 interested in UConn. Ultimately, the Big 12 determined it will pause those conversations. By the way, UConn is saying it was the Big 12. Your Mark said it was more mutual in his conversation, in his statement. He said, we jointly decided to pause our conversation. So um, maybe not everybody on the same page there in terms of why these conversations stopped, but it's notable. And in the end, UConn is going to obviously hype up its program. He goes on to say in this letter, let's celebrate who we are, be proud of our greatness. We're going to push forward, stay grounded in what drives us, and demonstrate our ability to be highly successful in every one of our 21 varsity sports. Okay, that's cool. This is not done. These two sides are going to keep talking. The conversations will continue. And whether it's at the end of football season, whether it's next summer, whether it's years down the road, we know what your mark wants to do. The question is, how does UConn fit into the broader puzzle of the future of the Big 12 and the future of big time college sports? I'm Pete Mundo. Thanks for being here. Hit that subscribe button on the channel. We have a lot more content coming your way. I've got picks for week two games coming up as well. We'll talk to you soon on Heartland College Sports.